they should still be there. Hello? You reached the phone of the super sexy awesome Dina kid! How can I help you? Dina, stop answering the phone like that! You can't stop me! Um, it's Dan. Oh, hey Danielle! How was the concert? It was good. Um... What's wrong? I... I'm quitting my job. What? Sorry. You're not allowed to quit! I've got a better contract working for l Mitless. Sorry, Dina. The girl band? You're leaving a bandit for a girl band? Sorry. This is unacceptable, Dan! I reject your resignation! But... I expect to see you here on Monday morning or you're fired! Wait. It was fun working with you, Dina, aside from the whole accident thing. But this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I can't say no. I never thought I'd enjoy being a performer, but it's actually a lot of fun, and I'm really good at it. I'll triple your salary! Sorry, Dina. Give me the phone. Now! I said give me the phone! Ah! Dan? Yeah? Of course you can quit. I wouldn't want to be in this game either. But I don't want to delay! Dan's an adult. She can do what she wants. Well, tell her I want her back here! I take it you're not taking this decision lightly. No, I've thought about it a lot. Then go for it. If you change your mind, you can always come back here with us. Thanks, Lynn! Don't mention it. Let go of me! Never! Blip! Well, that's that taken care of. Okay, girls. The path is clear. We're good to go. Lanny Log. I told them the path is clear, but the truth is, no one was here in the first place. No one even came to watch this concert. I've tried to tell people this before, but they just think I'm crazy. Am I crazy? Or are they crazy? I don't know. No. I can't be crazy. Yeah, Fred, there's no way you're crazy. Thanks, Other Fred. I'm glad I have you to remind me that. No problem, Other Fred. Yeah. Wait a minute. If I'm not crazy, why do I have a split personality? You don't have a split personality, Fred. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. No. No. No! Wait until you see the studio, Dan. It's amazing and not at all like a prison. Oh? Fred escorted the three of us. Oh through. shit, the zombies are back! Get in the van, girls! Take this, my fireworks of doom! I think I held them off! Go, go, go! Damn it, Jay! Drive the van! Curious to us, we were driven about 15 minutes out of town to a big compound surrounded by a massive chain link fence and two sets of security gates. Not that we're gonna show any of that to you, but yeah. Welcome to your new home, Dan. Wow, this place is huge! We'll give you the full tour in the morning, but it's a bit late now. We'll grab some dinner and then show you to the sleeping quarters. So this is where you spend most of your time? This is pretty much our home base. We're really famous, so we can't just live anywhere. Max Art Studios has top-notch security, but it's also an amazing place to live! They make me say that. We have a private pool, luxurious sleeping quarters, a big common area with a massive TV, and beanbag chairs, and the best team of chefs for miles. Whoa! Get used to it, Dan. This is your life from now on. I still can't really believe it. Oh, get over yourself. It's not that bad. At least you still have working legs. Oh, fuck. What are you doing here, troll? 
It sucks that I won't be able to swim in the pool for a few months, though. But doesn't drowning sound fun, Allison? There's food on the buffet table against the wall, Dan. Feel free to eat whatever you want. Lord knows you do, Lily. Don't eat too much, though. You're in a public eye now. And if you gain even a few kilos, then the press will tear you apart. Like paper. Oh. Don't worry, Dan. I shovel it down like a dump truck, but I burn it all off during practice. You'll be fine. Okay. The food at Max Hart Studios was exquisite. All the food had been cooked perfectly, and it was obvious a lot of care had gone into preparing these meals perfectly. I tried not to eat too much, but what I did eat was amazing. So Dan, you said you used to be a computer programmer? Software engineer, actually, but they're pretty much the same thing. Huh. I wouldn't have figured you were a nerdy type. I'm just good at computers. So you've never had singing lessons or anything? No, none at all. I never realized I'd be good at this. I certainly never expected to be a member of l Mitless. You better not have replaced me all and all of you! You're not going to be replaced. You're going to be killed. Dan will be our new member and we'll finally get that number one band ranking we've always wanted because you won't be there. Uh, I mean, woo! And the lead singer in Arisen sucks. I don't get why they have so many fans. It's ridiculous. Oh, I don't really like that group. Their music isn't as catchy, and I don't like their dance routines as much. I know, right? They're pathetic. I wouldn't say pathetic. <laughs> I think l Mitless is way better. I'm a massive fan of you guys. Please, continue being starstruck. You make me feel like I'm not a pointless addition to this team. <laughs> We're only slightly better than normal people. Okay, Dan, it's getting late, and we've got practice tomorrow morning. I'll show you to your sleeping quarters now. They're right next to mine. Oh, cool! This is your room, Dan. Jane is still having it set up, but it's got all the basics that you'll need. You know, two giant speakers, a random hoodie, wavy lines poster... This is mine?! Yep. Whoa. I'll see you in the morning, Dan. Sleep well. You too. That's also a band. The room was actually bigger than my entire old apartment, and this was just the bedroom. It was ridiculous. I had a massive TV, a huge bed, a Nintendo Play Cube box of all things. It was great, and it didn't take long for me to make the place my own. The bed was so comfy that I fell asleep the second I hit the pillow. I guess today had tired me out more than I'd realized. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me. And I'm alone, I'm alone again, alone again, all alone again. Now I am beautiful, no matter what they say, cause words can't bring me down until I'm alone again, alone again, all alone again. Looking in the mirror, I don't like what I see. I'm not the person I hoped I would be anymore. Cause I'm alone, 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 alone again.
Sean, wake up! Ah! Where am I? You're at Max Heart Studios, remember? Oh, right. We've got practice in an hour, so I thought I'd wake you up so you could come eat breakfast with us. Are we eating in the common room again? Yeah, that's where we always eat breakfast. And with three will be there too, so you can meet them. W3, Elf! What are they doing here? They're owned by Max Heart Studios too. They share the house with us. I live in the same house as W3, Elf! Yep! Oh my god! Didn't anyone tell you? No, they didn't! Their sleeping quarters are at the other end of the house, and they have their own rehearsal stage, but we share the common room and the rest of the complex with them. Come on, you should meet them. They're actually really nice. I can't go out there. I'm too embarrassed to talk to them. Scared of talking to boys? No, that's not it. Lots of girls have a crush on one of the members of Withrealf. That's why there's fan clubs dedicated to them. Which one do you like? Is it Kaz or Ty or the one with the scar? That's not it. I'm just scared to meet them because they're so famous. You're talking to me just fine, and I'm just as famous as anyone in Withrealf. True. You're a member of L Mitless too, Dan. It's only a matter of time until you're super famous, too. I guess. Becoming famous doesn't change you as a person. We're still regular people, same as anyone else. We have regular people emotions and regular people souls. I promise. Okay, I'll come meet W3L for breakfast. But only because I'm hungry. I don't have a crush on any of them. Sure you don't. W3 I left were a boy band that my sister had made me listen to the same time she introduced me to L Dash Midless. Their songs all sounded the same, but they were really catchy, and naturally I knew all of them off by heart. Because that's a thing I do, apparently, knowing all things by heart. Anyway, this week had been insane. The price of admission hadn't really been worth it, though, considering I'd have to give up my mad life to have this opportunity. I still hated this girly body and all its jiggling, though. It just didn't feel right, and I probably wouldn't ever get used to it. Nothing I can do about it now, though. Oh, who is this startling new beauty that shows her face before me? I hope she never had a penis before! Uh, I'm Dan, the new member of L Dash Midless. You're simply gorgeous and will make a wonderful addition to Max Heart Studios. I welcome you to our humble abode, as well as your massive tits. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Kazuma, the lead singer of Wothriel. But you, dear maiden, you may call me Kaz. <laughs> hey, Kaz, are you flirting with women again? You know what I told you about that! Don't! I can't help it if she's dazzled by the fact that I look like I'm ten years old compared to you guys. Qu quit it, man. You're making me embarrassed to know you. Uh, oh, oh my god. The flashbacks. Oh god. Oh, I've seen so much shit. <laughs> Let's start over. I'm Tyler. I am God's gift to women. And that's Travis. He's God's gift to no one. <laughs> Hi. I see you've already met our lead pervert, Kaz. It's nice to meet you, Dan. I'm actually talking to W3Elf. <laughs> You're not a fangirl, are you? I'm very afraid of those. No, I just Ooh. really like your music, that's all. Uh. I had one girl. She followed me around everywhere. Even tried to break into the compound runs. It was really, really scary. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? 
That's what the security team is for. Don't worry, they're really good at their jobs. One time, I saw them tase this guy so bad, electricity flew out of his dick! Don't worry, Dan. I'll be your knight in shining armor and protect you from sexual predators like me. Is he always like this? I can't help it if I'm chivalrous. And still a virgin. Kaz, do I need to rid you of your penis privileges? There was a part of me that felt really flustered talking to these overwhelmingly sexy men, but I pushed that aside. This body had been filling my head with all sorts of weird thoughts, and I had no time for them right now. Breakfast might have been carefree and fun, but we had practice soon, and I knew from my fanboy days that a lot of work went into developing new routines. I was going to have to work my ass off. Okay, Dangerous Desire. You do have natural stage presence, but there are some aspects of your performance that are a little sloppy, and we need to work on bringing you up to the level of everyone else, except Allison with that gimp leg of hers. I'll try really hard! If I didn't think you could, then I never would have hired you. Thanks! Okay, girls, into the auditorium. We've got a lot to go through today, and there won't be any breaks until I see some tears. <laughs> Have no meaning anymore. Hearts on fire, strong desire, rage is deep within. Hearts on fire, fevers rising Inspiration and drive and power on this lonely road of life. All you need is a powerful synthesizer and some synth drums and an electric piano to find your way. Nice work, girls. I'll see you all later for afternoon practice. <laughs> Phew! Are you tired? Oh, yeah. You need to work on your rhythm, Dan. You're passable, but you're really going to struggle next time you make a music video. Sorry, I'm still new at this. Well, you represent all of us now, so you'll have to try harder. Sorry. Dan's better than I was in the first week. We all started somewhere, remember? And not everyone has it in them, though. Don't let me down, okay, Dan? I won't! Yeah! Good girl. So what are we doing now? It's free time for the next two hours. You can do whatever you want. What sort of things do you normally do? Well, we're not allowed to leave the complex without a security escort, so I mostly just hang out in the common room. Allison used to go swimming a lot, but she can't do that right now. Poor girl. You're free to hang around with us, or you can go to your room and 
read a book or something. I don't know. It's entirely up to you. Hmm. Uh... Midless kicked me out. And when I pull this fire alarm, that'll freak all of them out. And I'll show them. It'll be so fun. I wouldn't do that. That kind of fun can cost a life. Then... False alarms are no fun at all. They keep firefighters away from the real trouble. <laughs> In this business, just a few seconds can make a difference between life or death. Maybe you're right. Remember, a firefighter's job is to fight fires. Thanks, Dan. Now I know. And knowing makes you extreme. <laughs> Let's start project. <laughs>